the top picks for high paying entry level tech jobs. Look, just a short while back, my career was like a dimly lit path. Steady, but uninspiring. Then I found a shortcut that led me to the tech industry and my path lit up like a room with big windows at seven in the morning with no blinds. Today, I'm here to light that path up for you, showcasing five great entry-level tech roles for 2024 and a special bonus one for those who stick around to the end, whether it's getting paid to get nosy in cybersecurity or getting businesses to know what and who your company is as an SDR we've got you covered so if you're ready to switch lanes and get into a high paying tech career let's get it you gotta get into tech first up cybersecurity okay so picture this you think of cybersecurity like being a goalkeeper in soccer okay so the team's success hinges on your vigilance and your reflexes so every save is extremely crucial and the fans or in this case the entire company is counting on your butt all right so training for this role it is going to be a lot right they're going to put you through the ringer but it's going to be extremely rewarding with ransomware and hacks making headlines right like i know y'all saw that that stuff that went down in Las Vegas not too long ago. You and cybersecurity are on the front line defense and your value in the market, right? Or the big leagues is skyrocketing. So, I mean, the government, they're coming out with laws, making these companies have some sort of cybersecurity in place. Entry level positions like security analysts can rake in around $70,000 just to start with the expectation to level up as you block better goal kickers, right? So the growth here though, is like cybersecurity is on an endless espresso shot with the pay potentials doubling as your skills continue to sharpen and the threats continue to evolve. Real quick, before we dive deeper in this video, here is a career lift that you do not wanna miss, okay? Level Careers is slashing their prices by 30% off for this Black Friday until November 28th. I'ma be real with you. Okay, there are a lot of boot camps out there that I haven't came across one who has made a deal like this for their students, okay? So if you're looking for the best way to be able to get to the bag the fastest in a career and industry that's not going anywhere soon, this is the way. All right, I'm talking to get an affordable, high quality tech training that can take your career through the roof with one decision, okay? So they have the top tech sales course that are looking to be the best of the best, right? You're already in tech sales, you're looking to be the biggest, that's where you wanna be. Cybersecurity, if you're looking for the best way to get the knowledge and experience at a great price, and those who are looking to become sales engineers, I'm telling you, this is where you want to be. All right. Timing is everything. And as we come into this new year on into 20 and 24, the time is now. All right. So check out the link below or go to techbagessentials.com slash level. Now let's get back to them jobs. Moving on to cloud architecture. All right, cloud architecture is a lot like Legos for grownups, right? But these structures support global businesses. So it's like a puzzle where every piece impacts the efficiency and scalability of the company's digital existence. And since we live in a digital world, that's everything. So the more skilled you are at anticipating needs and crafting strong tech landscapes, the more your expertise is worth. This is a field where your next certification could be your next salary bump. And with cloud being the business backbone since the year 2020, architects are in demand. All right, they popping. New folks coming in can pocket upwards of 75 racks with senior roles in enjoying that six-figure breeze <laughs> and then we talk about the growth it's like a skyscraper that never stops growing up all right next in line we have devops okay imagine devops like a pit crew in a high stakes race all right so you're fine-tuning performance changing tires all that stuff all to keep that car racing at top speed without a problem okay so the tools and techniques that you master not only increase your worth but they're the pivotal factors in propelling projects across that finish line faster better stronger that's the devops creed and in the tech world they pan on real good devops is about making the software life cycle smoother softer and more reliable so starting out you can be cashing in right around sixty-five thousand dollars with the top earners making a boatload of digits on that paycheck all right all you creatives out there 
UX UI design. Okay, this is where aesthetics meet analytic. User-friendly designs, engaging interfaces, that's your canvas, that's where you do your work, okay? And starting salaries hit the ground running at about $60,000 and they can go up as you make the internet a prettier and more functional place. And I'm just being real, y'all, the more you can learn this space and the better you get, the more money you can make outside the job, okay? Because there are business owners who are willing to pay big bucks for you to come in and make their dream a reality. So if you have that entrepreneurial spirit, you can really crack that bank open, okay? Number five, tech sales, sales development reps. So as an SDR, you're not necessarily selling anything in the entry level role here, but you are building relationships with other businesses for your company to work with, right? You're the handshake of the company. So you're setting those meetings for the account executives to come in and finish up that deal. Now, for those who know, this is actually a route that I chose to be able to break in the tech industry without any experience or any degree I was able to snag a $70,000 plus job. And you already know, if you're in tech sales, you have OTE and things like that that can really help get you more money while you continue to build your skills and grow in the space to get better. So if you wanna hear like more details on that and, and what my actual story and what I did, you can check that video out here. And just know, as an SDR, you are the bridge between groundbreaking tech and the customers or other businesses who need it, right? This is where customers meet innovation. So I told y'all I had a bonus one and rounding things out is AR and VR designers, okay? So you're not just designing games here, right? You're revolutionizing education, healthcare, and all these other spaces, okay? And when it comes to salaries in this area, they're starting around $65,000 with a steep incline as you help continue to push the boundaries of reality, all right? I mean, they got the Google glasses, right, with, with Ray-Ban. Um, can y'all believe, like, the stuff that we saw on Iron Man? And Wake up, daddy Sean. Welcome home, sir. In reality, we can have our own computers in our faces, you know, in glass, where we're, it's just moving around in midair. Or read articles. And Safari expands, so you can see all your open tabs. Your whole computer, right? This stuff is coming, right? Google already released their goggles. Apple Glass, that's coming soon. I can't wait to get mine. Like, these are exciting times, and these are all AR and VR designers. And again, these tech companies need these things to help make these ideas come to life and really make the things that they have envisioned, right? So as our digital landscape evolves, these entry-level roles and cybersecurity security, cloud architecture, DevOps, that's just the beginning, y'all, right? So I'll dive deeper into those and more in upcoming videos, but just remember, a tech career is not just about the money, okay? It's about the impact, innovation that can help us grow. So then you realize, like, the more impact I have, that's the more money I make, and then it just doesn't stop from there. So get in the game, get trained right, check out Level Careers, especially before that sales end, if you don't have any experience or you don't know where to start and go get that tech career you've been dreaming about, I'll catch you in the next one.